Good morning. It's the first of July. It's 5.30 in the morning. And it's time to make a new start. Um, yeah. It's not that I need any more new starts, but I made up my mind that I'm gonna start uh, the mini Dragon in the Morning from Heaven and Earth Designs. And I'm having my morning coffee, the first cup. And what you see here is um, the material pack made by Heaven and Earth Designs. They make very nice packs. Unfortunately, they cost a little bit to get shipped over to Sweden. So you get these floss cards. It's very nice. And you get a little... Um, I don't know if they make them themselves. But you get a little bag where you have your needle and you also get a, a needle threader. And a very nice needle case. So this is the, um, the needle case. It took me a while to figure out what it was. Actually, it took me years. So you can have uh, more than one needle in, in it. And the needle minder is from Rachel Ray's Etsy store. And she told us yesterday that it's going to be reopened. So I'm looking forward to that because I like her needle minders. And this is a needle threader. I don't usually use them, but, uh, oops. They're very nice. And you don't pay extra for that. Okay, so I have my pattern keep keeper over there. And I've set set it all the settings so it's ready to go. I'm gonna stitch diagonally and I know that the light is just crappy, but we'll just have to deal with it as it is. Um, diagonal stitching. I'm going to stitch 2 over 1, 10 stitch. And hopefully that will make things go a little bit faster. So I'm going to start with color 37, uh, 37, 72. color and somebody told me no somebody didn't tell me somebody told us on YouTube that if you you can pull a string of thread from these without you know unwinding them I have no clue how you do that Make a long strand of thread. Yeah, I should also say before I start that I've put uh, the weave, no, the fabric on one of my Omnic scroll strands, the Quantums. 
I think it is a 70 centimeter scroll frame too big for this project but that's what I had and I marked out the center of the fabric and then I simply easily counted to where to start because it's a pre-gridded fabric so it's quite easy and that is where I've put this little needle I'm going to zoom in when I'm editing so I'm just showing you how to use these needle threaders all right this is awesome. This is why I went up five o'clock in the morning today because I was going to make a new start. Maybe I should try to zoom in on camera. Okay. So Here we go. And now I forgot where <laughs> the needle was. Oh my God. I need to recount one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, And I'm doing the loop, the loop start. And now I'm gonna doubt the the coverage but I've seen people stitch two over one on 25 count 10 stitching and that has just looked fine in the end next color 420 so it's going to take a while here at the beginning because I need to find the 10 first colors 420 420 And in my mind, I thought that when you get a material pack like this, you use the, ma the floss cards, like that's how you organize it. But I think I've come to realize that people actually like bobbinate them once they get the floss cards or uh, use these uh, 
Paco. Hmm. No, I don't remember. Paco something. I have plenty of them. Or something else. But, uh, I'm using the false cards. And where am I going to park this one as well? I'm going to park it here. Oh, parking. I've missed parking. When I see people park, oh. I'm like, I need to start stitching again. No, I need to start parking again because I'm stitching, of course. Um, I'm getting there. Next color, 3826. 3826. Oh, yeah. it's a lot of floss, even though it's the regular colors, 3826. Beautiful colors, golden colors. And when I watched uh, Maniac Stitcher, I think that was what she called her YouTube channel. She talked about when she was introduced to Pattern Keeper because she was a paper pattern person. Like I think many people out there are but her daughter showed her that app and she was right away when she saw the benefits of it that she had to get the get that app and um Yeah, it makes life easier when you stitch a full coverage, for sure. Let's see. So I apologize if my hand is in the way, but I didn't know how to set up the camera differently. So this one, now I need to figure out on Pattern Keeper, I have red diagonal lines going from uh, with the uh, 10 uh, stitches in between so it goes like this the red lines to show me how to stitch the diagonal stitches and the next stitch is on a red line so i need to find out if or make up my mind if the red line is the first stitch in the row or if it's the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six. So it has to be this last one. So then I'm gonna stitch that or park it. Let's see. One, two, three, four four right rows down. One, two, three, four. And four into the left. One, two, three. Now three seven seven six Actually I think I need to get my Pacos out for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
or I'm kind of getting into floss bags. I like the thought of that. Actually. So I'm not going to shed chat all that much. I'm just going to show you my new start. How it looks when you tent stitch using two threads over one on 25 count. Let's use this beautiful neater threader again. It's good to show you on camera. For me this takes a longer time, but that's because I'm not used to using it and I don't usually have a problem threading my needles. So with this I'm gonna stitch two stitches. was two and it's gonna be parked just underneath one two three four for one two three and four so I think the thing with um, diagonal stitching is to stitch just one row at a time so you only have those 10 maximum 10 colors so you can only have 10 colors in a row if you have confetti you know and then you tend stitch no and then you stitch a diagonal at a time so the di the diagonal stitching is for um for um, not getting the, the lines from page to page. And yeah, to stitch like 10 stitches a row at a time is to, you know, have control, I think. I just like the thought of it. Um, So I never tried diagonal, so I'm this is this is gonna be fun. So next color is 977.
I'm going to do three stitches with this color. it over at number four the next row it's looking so nice and the next color is seven eight three all the golden colors. That's um, very typical for Randall Spangler. He has his green dragons and then there's always this golden... some of them has like like this one a golden frame around it uh, but you have um, I'm trying to figure out. He ha always has something golden in there. I don't know why. It's just it's. I find these are s such typical Randall Spangler colors, and I love the golden colors. And I think it's also because at one time I was coloring with um, uh, what you call them ink. Oh, I lost the word for that. It was color pencils, but it was ink. So you had to activate it with water. And there's a woman called Peta Hewitt. She had some YouTube videos showing you how to, to color. And I learned how to color golden stuff with those pencils and it's the same like this uh, it's the same colors that Randall Spangler has so I just I just love them how you mix them and how you mix these yellow and sienna and brownish and you get gold so that was that and then I'm not gonna park, I'm not gonna use this color anymore in this part of the diagonal stitching, but I can see that there is a new, because of Pattern Keeper, you wouldn't find it so easy if you use paper pattern. So this is the cool thing with Pattern Keeper. I can see where the next uh, stitch with that color is. So I can go and park it for the next so it's just within the grid beside the grid beside this grid so it's not a big jump I think that is fine I usually jump maximum to the third grid down so let's park it over there Mark that stitch and then we go for the last one. And that is four, three, six. We have it here. I saw some information about the new colors, you know, uh, DMC started at 150 before but now they have I think it's like 35 new colors and it starts from 01 to 30 something I, th I think there might be more and uh, we got some information from heaven and earth uh, from Michelle that they found out that um, the dialogue of the color 09 isn't 
uh, constant. I don't know how how I'm going to explain, but they said you could notice some. Uh, unfortunately, can see difference in the thread when they're stitching with it. So they. Um, advised you to switch the color out to I think she said 37.99 to be sure to make sure that um, there wasn't any color difference so if you stitch with the new colors especially 09 then um, it's just a little device. So now the color I stitch with here, I can see that um, I ain't gonna use it until like, oh, there's actually the grid number three down there. One, two, three, I could jump over there since I said that I usually jump no further than that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three. One, two, three. So yeah, let's park it over here. We don't want to restart threads if we don't have to. Not me, anyway. Whoops. That's the first line. Now I need some more coffee. And I need, I wanted to go get some more, but. Mm. All right, so. Now we're going to take one of the part threads. And we're going to stitch just one stitch here. And then we're jumping down to one and two and repark it. one uh, usually when I stitch park uh, using the parking method and I haven't done that for a while but uh, before when I did that I stitched the 10 10 by 10 grid so let's say this color if there were like five different stitches within that grid, I stitched all of them and then parked the thread in the next grid if it was used there. Um, but I'm really gonna try to just do one row at a time and see if that actually goes faster or if I get a better, I don't know, control of it or something I don't know maybe that would work perfect with uh, the max color designs because it would be nice to park there so that's one stitch and park on the, the next row like so Mark. and then we have this color so once you've started some of the threads you don't have to pick find new colors so it goes a little bit faster Like 
So, and where do I park this? I need to search for it. Oh, it's just beneath here. Makes me happy. Like so. And then we have a new color. Yes. 725. 725. Ooh, that's a nice yellow. Nice. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I'm very curious um, which artist on Heaven and Earth is your favorite designer? Can you choose? Uh, Randall Spangler was still, I think he's still, I'm not, oh, it's, oh, that's so difficult. Why, why, why am I answering? asking such difficult question and I can't answer it myself. Randall Spangler was my favorite for a very long time. I still love his art very 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 much. He has a great sense of humor. Um, And then Linda says, I don't have a problem threading my threads. And then I have a problem. So it's a good thing that Heaven and Earth provides you with a nice needle threader in case you don't have one yourself. Whoops. But now I, I really love Amy Stewart's art and I also you know she interacts a lot with her fans on heaven and earth in the group in her group you know we have stitching groups for I think well I'm not sure but I think most of the designers has their own cells or yes, st stitching groups according to Heaven and Earth. How am I going to explain it? So there is the official Heaven and Earth design Facebook group. But if you only want to see the Amy Stewart or Randall Spangler uh, designs being stitched, they have their own separate groups. Okay, I think that was clear clear so and in the Amy Stewart group Amy Stewart is also a member in the group and she you know shows new made art and uh, a lot of her art is being made into puzzles jigsaw puzzles you know and you know she talks with her fans and everything and I think that is a really nice thing to do actually so that does a lot with her art but her art is amazing so mysterious sometimes and beautiful So I stitched two stitches in that color. I'm parking it here. Like so. And we have another new color and that is 3822. Oops, need new, 
I need to find a better system for my threads. So it's a bit more pale yellow. Uh, this mini is not so big. It's 325 by 326. So that's very doable. Um, it is how many pages was it four by four sixteen sixteen full pages of pattern plus four uh, partials which weren't that big at all so it's not bad at all i mean i have patterns which are a hundred pages easy. Like so. And how many of these am I going to stitch? Two and then park underneath. Okay. So I want my camera to stand on my left side because then I won't get my hand in the way. Just like there. And I usually park to where it's closest to the stitch I just stitched. So, and we have another color. So since it's going to be on the diagonal, I'm going to do less and less stitches per row at least here in the corner in the beginning uh yeah new color last one on this row and it's seven four four Ooh, surprise it's another yellow <laughs> Imagine that there is so many different shades of color, not gray colors, different shades of the same color. It's just, that's, it's amazing. So if you're stitching heaven and earth or any of the other full coverage patterns like tilt on or uh, paint crafts, I just, I can't recommend enough pattern keeper, the app. And if you don't have an Android tablet, tablet, I mean, Android aren't as expensive as Apple products. Yeah. It's, to, it's worth the investment if you feel like heaven and earth I can only speak for Heaven Earth because that's the only full size that's stitched. But there are many who are stitching the, 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 their patterns. So if you feel like you want to stitch that, it's, it's, it is a good investment. It will make stitching those patterns more enjoyable. 
all right so this one is also going to be parked over here and just look how nice this looks with all the part flaps yeah it's so satisfying cool so that's two rows I'm just gonna keep going because I'm gonna sit all day and stitch this new start and see how far I get before I need to get back to my Mirabilia because now I'm done with her um, the skin on her body and arms so I have her face left face gloves and you know the, the thing the hat the stuff she has on her head so I'm gonna park this one over here let's let's uh, remove the threads upwards like this so I can see what I'm doing it feels Maybe it's not in focus. Well, I'm sorry about that. Um, let's do it like this. I will zoom in on editing instead. Um, one, two, three. No, just two. Where did I stitch it? I stitched it there. So one and two. And then we're going in one two three four five one two three four four and five so just to the right of the other part thread and that's correct according to my pattern keeper like so next color It's more difficult actually to thread two threads. So since I find this a little bit time consuming, I might just go back to kind of stitching whatever is in that grid before I park it so I don't have to re-thread the threads all the time maybe we'll see so there's one there and now we have two over here two stitches beside the last like so I think the coverage is turning out pretty damn nice of course I haven't stitched with black yet but no I like that it's nice and then I'm going to park it here. Mark my stitch stitches. then we have two more colors on that row
like so and it was going to be part here get sometimes to to mark so it's going to be part to the left of that one So I'm just going to continue stitching here for a while. I know the video is going to be long, but um, I know I enjoy watching these kinds of videos, especially the heaven and earth ones. Just like to look at, um, I don't know, when the thread like goes up and down in the fabric, and it sounds so kinky, but so satisfying. It's like we talked about lime on Rachel's uh, live for patreons yesterday it's like some people just want to watch slime and listen to it and that's how I feel about cross stitching or you know watching the threads <laughs> and listening to it Or like the diamond painters out there you know that sound of the drills and the clicking yeah we like it it's very satisfying it's very very uh, terra what do you call it therapeutic color 
where is it going to be part further down one two and three didn't I I forgot to park to mark the part thread yeah I forgot no now we're back in business here. So let's park it and then we're gonna take this. It's the second last color in that row. Two stitches and parking one and two rows down and one and two there and the last one now I need to remember to mark mark off on my pattern where I'm parking it so there's also a thing I notice here that it's a lot of marking all the time when I just stitch one row at a time so I'm just you know I'm, I'm just comparing it to how I usually park and if it's more time-consuming then I, I like but we'll see this is a new way for me to to stitch and that is the challenge so I can see now that I'm not going to use more of that color in that diagonal line. So we'll just go park it where I'm going to use it later. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. So I'm done with that. Back to next, next row. It goes pretty fast, doesn't it? It's very nice. I do get a, a little bit of a thread tangle here, so. Um, there's one there, and then I don't need it anymore. It's gonna be parked over here. Yeah. Like so. And then it's good. This, this is where needle minders are good as well. You can separate the threads so this is the threads these are the threads i'm going to use for the rest of the diagonal line here and these are part threads for later use and so i can get um let's take one of these i had so many um needle minder so I guess they're stuck in other places so there's another needle minder so I can I guess just snap it on the threads there so it's not in the way stitch let's go down and park it it's a row underneath and third stitch you can lift the colors you can lift the threads like this and then you can see 
of the row underneath. One, two, and three. Uh, I know a lot of people think the parking looks crazy with all the threads, but you'll find your system, how it works for you. And then it's not so, so difficult. But yeah, cross-country stitching is less messy with the threads. But I think you have more control of your stitching when you're parking. So I think that's, um, you shouldn't be intimidated or anything if you're starting out on a head for the first time and, and do parking. Because it, it can be very overwhelming with those big patterns. So when I sit here with my audiobook, with this kind of stitching, it's, uh, yeah. It's medicine for the soul, I can tell you that. So from the bottom up. No, let's just go from top. One, two, and three. Oh, and the books I usually listen to are crime, Swedish crimes. And sometimes I like a good, uh, feel good um, book. Uh, I like it also if there is a little bit of humor in it, of course. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Like so. I'm gonna grab the same color because I'm gonna jump from this side of the row to the other side. And I want the other stitches to catch that running thread. And then I'm parking it on the next row. So. So one stitch there, let's see, and I'm going to park it down there. Second last row and second stitch in. stitch and parking it underneath don't forget to mark so it's so one stitch and then I'm going to park it outside of this grid. Where did I stitch that stitch there? One and two. Down. And then it belongs to the other threads over here. Don't forget to mark. So we're getting close to finish of the first diagonal line which was, you know, just a corner, very tiny, but 
every stitch is a progress. So now I'm going to park that. Where am I going to park it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five, and three up. One, two, and three. So needle minders are very good at also like sorting the threads while you're stitching. Hey, we have a new color. All right, so that's 3854. Hard. 3854. Oh, that was a nice color. It's nice. A bit of on the orange pumpkin, light pumpkin color. It's very nice. So again, when you have the pre-gridded fabric, it's very easy and fast to get started on the heaven and earth. Uh, you don't need to pre-grid, you don't need to count and count. Well, I do count quite a lot before I start. Uh, I do, but it's easier to just count the pre-gridded squares than if you had to figure it out yourself, you know, where to start gridding. So, it's very nice. Also, um, I think it is DMC who has the, this is the easy guy. There is a fabric called the magic guide where the pre-gridding is red and it's the downside is that th the grids are the squares are 20 by 20 but uh, that I, I really enjoy that fabric it's uh, very nice so I stitched that one right yes I did and we're going to park it just underneath. two stitches with this two stitches with this color and we're going to park it on the next row is it called on the next row or in the next row really nice it sure does so where am I at now that's not a stitched That one is parked. All right. So what I'm going to do is 
this thread is the three last stitches downward here so I'm just gonna stitch them So, so now my question is, since I haven't done this before, that color I just stitched with is actually going to be stitched just, you know, here. So then the jump wouldn't be, you know, that long but if I look at the diagonal stitching this color is gonna start up here I don't know if you can see it but then you all of a sudden have a jump from one grid to the other and then I'm thinking what's the right thing to do I will jump this time and see how bad it gets I don't mind that it's ugly on the back side, not at all, but I don't want it to be bulky. So that's what, uh, what I'm concerned about. Yeah. Let's do the next color. We have a few stitches left to go. Yeah, and then we have one stitch here. Now, where is it gonna be parked? It's also going up there. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one down. mark off don't forget like so and then we have this color oh this is so nice I'm very happy that I dared to stitch Two over twenty-five. I'm just trying to thread my needle here uh, and mark off. Yeah, and we're having we're doing the last stitch in this diagonal part. Voila. And that one is going to be part where? Oh, up there as well. Cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, actually, it was going to be parked. So let's clear. It's going to be parked up there, actually. Yes, let's repark it. So it's going to be parked beside this one if we're doing row by row like so let's remove and there we have all the parked threads 
looking very very nice yeah like that cool my god i'm done with the first square it's nice and it's only i don't know what time it is it doesn't matter um what was i thinking yeah i'm thinking that maybe you would like to see the back side I know it's a long video, uh, but this is also like reality. This is how long time it takes to stitch. Thing is, let's see if I can turn it over without hitting everything. I actually covered my legs with a blanket. It's a little bit more cold today as well, which is nice. Oh, you're not going to see that. Let's do. Show, I wanted to show you. It looks a little bit messy. Because of the big jumps and because I'm stitching with two threads. Yeah. That's how it's going to look. So as long as it doesn't get too bulky, and I think that's fine. That's fine. Let's just enjoy the stitching. So, oops, oh, I'm hitting everything in here. Shelves and paintings on the walls and everything. Yeah, I just um, wanted to bring you along on the start of Dragon in the Morning. It's the mini version, regular colors. Oh, I just realized, how about what about a mini, but with max colors? Hmm. Yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to go grab myself some more coffee. I'm going to start the new diagonal line, which is going to go from that corner to that corner. So that's going to be one, two, three times more than the first one. So that's going to take me at least three hours, I guess, or maybe two, um, since I'm not going to talk to the camera or talk to you and explain how I'm doing stuff. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to bring you along. I love these videos myself. Um, so if you have any questions leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because then i will see you next time thank you for watching bye guys